What up, what up, what up, it's your boy Mr. Von, Mr. Von, shout out Sweatbox, we back, we live, we active here on the channel, yes indeed, you know how we do, still dodging those digital jabs, baby, Last of Us, The Last of Us, episode 5, man, we're over halfway through with the season, man, look, I know I didn't get episode 4, but it was a short week, and uh, I, 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 I watched episode 4, I just didn't get to review it, but I'm back, and I told y'all I might not get every episode. Episode was four. Episode four was great, by the way. This, this series is great. Let's just get into it. Spoiler talk. Episode five. Henry and Sam. For those who played a game, you already know. This one was gonna suck. <laughs> when I mean suck, I mean emotionally rip you apart. As far as quality, top tier. Top tier. Um, I want to address one thing real quick, just because it's not. I mean, it's not a. It's just a thing. I was watching another review before I did mine. Uh, I always do that. I want to see what my other people think. My man Jeremy Johns, he had one small discrepancy with the episode. He still loved it, of course. Obviously, he still loved it. Uh, he didn't feel like the. He didn't feel like Sam's backstory was was done well in the in the uh, in in this in the TV version. He liked Sam's backstory more so in the game better. And I'm simplifying. I'm 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 oversimplifying what he said. He went into much more in depth with it. Go watch his video. You know Jeremy Johns does his thing. Seattle boy, Northwest family, just like me. I don't know if he knew that, but y'all don't know that. Me and Jeremy Johns both live up here in the Northwest. He's in Seattle. And I'm in Tacoma. Um. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. So he did his thing. I liked how his. I like. I disagree with his with his assertion but i like i like his his breakdown you know he always puts a lot of thought into it uh i i, I felt everything they did with sam and, and henry was great i love the backstory i love the softening that they made henry because in the game he was definitely a lot more harsh he was definitely a little a little more harder on sam i like the fact that they made sam deaf i didn't think i would i didn't think i would when i first saw that in the previous I was like are they making him deaf i don't know how i feel about that but it worked out perfectly it worked out. It was just. It was just. It worked out perfectly, and the the casting of both of these guys was just excellent. It was really, really well done. Um, as far as for the episode itself, and uh, a lot of people agree with this. A lot of people agree. The, uh, the character of what was it, Kathleen, played by Old Girl from um, Two and a Half Men. I didn't even realize that was Old Girl from Two and a Half Men. She's still very pretty. But she, 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 she looks a lot different. It, once I, once I, once I was like, oh yeah, that does look her, then I recognized her. But she looks so much different. And I, I more so recognized her from just have seen her, from just having seen her in uh, Don't Look Up, playing Leonardo DiCaprio's wife. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, man, her casting, while she did a good job, and it was, at the end of the day, it served its purpose. I had a hard time... There was just something about her performance that didn't fully capture me, as far as her delivery. I just, I there was something, and I like her motive. I understood her motivations as far as revenge for her brother, um, everything. Uh, but it was just something. I don't know. Something didn't land with me about her character, and I and I see a lot of other people were saying that too. So I'm glad I'm not the only one that felt that way. She still, I mean, it was fine. It didn't take away from the show at all. I just wanted to. No show's perfect, so you just got to point out the things that you that you see. Um. Another thing that I really liked about this episode, man, obviously, the climax of the attack when they were coming out. First of all, the whole scene of the sniper straight from the game, obviously taken straight from the game. Only thing is they they switched it from day to night. Uh, but Joel sneaking around into the house, he's like, yeah, man, just give me the gun and stay here for an hour. I said, you ain't got to die. The old boy chose to die. He chose violence. <laughs> He chose violence. Uh, yeah, man, that was that whole scene was great. But then the the, the the attack, we got our first bloater. You know what I'm saying? From the one we seen in the trailers, man, it was it was a, yeah, this was a really 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 good episode. When that truck crashed into the house and it and exploded, I was like, oh man, this thing, they, this, this is this is this is, this is escalating quickly. <laughs> they're making it. I'm thinking myself, they're making a lot of noise. Right, because originally I thought that they were going to end up coming up through that hole in the basement that we saw in the last episode. Um, but no, that 
when the truck crashed through the building, through the house, and exploded, apparently that just drew him all over there and it woke him up or whatever. And he said, we find out that Sam, um, Henry tells us that Fedra had drove all the infected underground. <clears throat> it was just... <laughs> it was just, somebody just leave it at that. <laughs> that was really bad. Oh, man, it was really bad. When they all came out of the hole, whoo! Very well done, though. Very well. That whole scene. The whole scene of Ellie running through with Joel sniping from the building just like in the game. You say I'm protecting her just like in the game. But then the scene when the car runs over. Oh, man, it was just... Whew. This series is so head and shoulders above every other thing that video... Every other video game adaptation, period. This is, this is, this is head and shoulders above everything else. This is, this is no, there's no, there's no close second. There's not even a close second. <laughs> so, yeah, this was a really good episode. And then that tragic ending. Oh, that tragic ending with Henry and Sam and Sam getting bit. And then that whole scene. I love how they played him and Ellie's relationship in this one. Because in the, in the game, they were closer in age and it was, Sam had more of a crush. It was more of a crush that he had on Ellie. She wasn't, she wasn't feeling him like that, but they were definitely friends. Where in this one, she's definitely more of the big sister. And she's looking after him. And that scene where she cuts her hand and she puts it over the over the bite. She's saying, my, my, my blood is medicine. And she's thinking, she's legitimately thinking, maybe I can help him. And then when he turns in the next morning, you're just like, ugh. Oh. And then the way that played out was just almost verbatim from the game. You know what I'm saying? Where they burst into the room on the floor, on the floor fighting at each other. Joel tries to grab the gun. Henry grabs it first. And then Henry ends up being the one to shoot Sam. And then unalives himself. <laughs> it was it was tough. That was really tough. That was, this, this show is, man, this, this show is just doing a really, really good job. I mean, we all know how dark the game gets. And this show is not pulling no punches, man. They're not pulling no punches. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, man, another really good episode. This show continues to continues to really do its thing, man. Uh, the way they're staying true to the game yet expanding on everything. Like the expansion of of Sam's backstory, him having leukemia and him him needing the medicine and him betraying Kathleen's brother, getting Kathleen's brother killed and all that, that was all really good. Like I, I that's where I that's where me and Jeremy have our differences of opinion. I thought that was all really well done. Even though I have my issues with how Kathleen was portrayed as a character. And I didn't fully buy in. The overall story was I was I, I was in I was in for all of that. And the dude who uh the dude who voiced Tommy in the game who's playing the who's playing her number two, he did a really good job. And the way he got murdered by the uh by the bloater was savage. It was savage. That whole scene was the little girl uh clicker Doing the little flips and stuff in the back seat, man, it was crazy. But anyway, this 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 show, like I said, the show continues to continues to crush it in every aspect, man. So there you go. The Last of Us, episode five. That's my thoughts, man. What did you guys think? Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Click those notifications so you know when we upload. Uh, check out the travel vlogs, man. I got the I got my top five Vegas hotels uploaded over there. Um, and until next time, <laughs> you know how we do. Peace. I'm a girl. To the ends with you. I'm a girl. To the end with you. I'm a girl. To the end with you. I'm a girl.